that is migrants, and captured uh, others in a racist action, I would add, according to CNN, I'm being sarcastic. During the fight, the Marines allegedly killed several uh, of the peaceniks. I'm sorry. During the fight, the Marines allegedly killed several militants and captured others after ISIS attempted to attack the airbase operated by Russian military, reported the Russian uh, news services. And we have links to that up on Infowars.com. Uh, it is considered one of the most advanced aircraft in Russia's inventory with updated avionics and a wide array of weapons at its disposal. 60 of the jets are planned to be delivered to Russian forces by next year. Again, Russian activity at the airbase ramped up Friday upon the arrival of advanced Russian fighter jets, including four SU-300SM flankers, uh, which are loose equivalents of the U.S. Air Force F-A-18F Hornet. This, of course, begs the question, who provided ISIS with the kind of intelligence of right where to attack to take out the aircraft with live satellite feeds? They were targeting the aircraft. Well, I mean, the Pentagon's not going to let their little sweetie cake jihad forces actually get attacked, are they? Uh, so really uh, amazing to see all this unfolding. Russia has also shipped in tanks, artillery, and attack helicopters into Syria and has opened up a high-level communication with the U.S. military to ensure that no misunderstandings lead to conflict. Uh, Moscow and Washington operated a similar red phone hotline during the Cold War, a striking allegory to the current state of tensions between the two countries, especially as neoconservative think tanks rattle their sabers at Russia and as the Obama White House uh, basically threatens them not to fight back against ISIS or other rebels being run by the West. Right now, the Defense Department is reviewing and updating its contingency plans for armed conflict with Russia uh, over the Syria conflict, according to Foreign Policy magazine. Never before has America been so clearly on the wrong side, ladies and gentlemen. A sovereign country done nothing to us under five years of attack by Saudi Arabian proxy armies. Saudi Arabia cut and dry attacked us on 9-11. Our government covered that up bare minimum. That's now come out. They then had our government and our media demonize an innocent country, Iraq, which was then basically brought back to the Stone Age and now divided into three countries. Kurdistan, and of course they have the Islamic State area uh, in the western central area and in the south, it is controlled by the Shiites to the east into Iran. They have divided the country into three parts. They're now openly announcing the plan to break Syria into three parts as well. And Russia understands this is about taking their only warm water port uh, there uh, on the Mediterranean in Syria. They understand it's part of the march towards bringing down Russia. And I'm, again, I'm not saying Russia is perfect. I'm not saying Russia is wonderful. But Russia is not on an offensive. Russia is not putting cancer viruses in our vaccines. Russia is not opening our borders. Russia is not funding ISIS. Russia is not pushing world government. Russia is not trying to take my guns. Russia isn't on the news saying my kids belong to the state. Our criminal, illegitimate government is. And the good news is our own military and top brass have gone public, and they have said they will not be part of openly aiding al-Qaeda to bring down Syria and being involved in war crimes. So the arrogant Harvard Ivy League globalists that run this country told the military, we don't care, we'll go with proxy armies, and have done it anyways, nakedly, quadrupling down. When we come back, it's not a joke. Saudi Arabia chosen to head UN Human Rights Panel, and the Pope is now back home in Cuba, worshiping Fidel. We're back live, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us. The breaking news report is on Infowars.com. Russian Marines battle ISIS in Syria. So the valiant forces of the West are attacking the Russians. And I guess you're not patriotic if you don't support Al-Qaeda-controlled groups out of Saudi Arabia attacking the innocent sovereign nation of Syria. If you watch the mainstream television news, you would believe that it is a war crime not to support this. That is how truly sickening all of this has gotten. Now, before I get into the latest on election news, ahead of Jesse Ventura joining us, 
and the latest U.S. news, economic news, uh, what's happening with oil going down last week to record levels, bouncing back up a bit uh, this morning. Before we break that down, I just wanted to let listeners know that you have now basically knocked a home run out of the park with the 2015 war chest operation that we launched last week. It raised total over a million dollars that we need for the satellites, the closed captioning, the equipment, the reporters. Anybody who actually runs a news organization knows that you can't run a small town newspaper for a million dollars a year. But when you add a million dollars to the other capital we have coming in, it gives us the working capital we need to do those new projects and to reach tens of millions of more people. You can find out details at Infowars.com forward slash affiliates, uh, the satellite links, the feeds, all of it. And the next project here in the next few weeks and months will be aggressively you, myself, we the people, lobbying UHF, VHF, and local cable stations to pick up the daytime show and the nighttime news, as well as the Sunday broadcast. There's already a lot of affiliates that are picking it up. And we're talking to them, uh, signing them up, creating a list, uh, linking to it. And we're a very small organization. It's a big job, but we're doing the best we can. So it's already a success. I want to salute and thank all of you. And in this month of September, we're offering specials that we've never offered before to make it easy for folks to support the InfoWars operation and make it what I call a 360 win. I have worked with My Patriot Supply, the preeminent storable food company, for many years. But for two years, I've been negotiating to put out InfoWars Select that just basically has our sticker stuck on it. Because for whatever reason, folks like things branded to InfoWars, I'll just be honest with you. And it's the full selection of what My Patriot Supply has to offer at InfoWarsStore.com. And you can see all the very same meals, the same packages for just a little bit more money. InfoWars Select is even less. But in one week, InfoWars Select will be the same price week to week to whatever their best specials are. And we'll continue to have My Patriot Supply at InfoWarsStore.com and InfoWars Select. But basically, by private labeling, I'm contractually able to get them to offer the very lowest prices they're able to that they offer some of their other suppliers and distributors and private labelers as well. So that's why we're doing this. But I got them, and I had their CEO on a week and a half ago, to give us for two weeks the lowest price they've ever offered, the highest quality, non-GMO, clean, healthy, high quality recently produced, I mean, it's produced every week as fast as they can produce the food, fresh food that lasts for decades. Insurance you can eat. In insane times like this, it's insane not to have high quality storable foods, insurance you can eat. It's insane to not be somewhat self-sufficient, to have firearms, water filtration, uh, communications equipment, uh, friends and family, a backup plan, a bug out plan, and uh, at the heart of all that is food. This is the highest quality, easily stored and transported uh, packaging you're going to find anywhere, and your purchase supports the very tip of the spear in the information war. So again, that's 888-253-3139 to call and ask any questions or order over the phone. Or it's InfoWarsSelect.com or InfoWarsStore.com. And the full line of My Patriot is there at the very same prices they sell it for on their site. It's just drop shipped by them. And then there's InfoWars Select that's going to be really excellent going into the future. We are planning on having some specialty meals and specialty packs that will be different from their mainline products, but they'll be just as good. I don't, I don't want to say better than theirs because it is from them. It'll just be a little bit different in the future as well. But out of the gates, it's the exact same thing, just discounted to an even lower level. And I, I had two weeks authorization, two weeks ends in about four days. We launched it on a Thursday. I'm going to try to extend it out into next Monday. But I may not be able to. Got to twist some arms to do this to bring you the lowest price. That's how business works. It's how capitalism operates. So I would take advantage of this right now. Have it. Forget about it. Know you're secure. Know you're ready. That's what I've done. It's a no-brainer. 
888-253-3139. Uh, here's the good news. The super sale has been so successful with 15% off and free shipping. The free shipping has now ended, but they're still 15% off. That Survival Shield and Ace and Iodine X2 will sell out at current sales projections by the end of the week. So the good news is we're funding our operation with high-quality products, and folks love it. The bad news is it can be three weeks or longer after that <clears throat> till more comes in. So if you want Survival Shield and Ace and Iodine X2 at InfoWarsLife.com, now is the time. Uh, the, the other bad news, we ordered twice as much deep cleanse this time. But it's so popular, it's one of the most powerful total body cleanses out there and so affordable, it will sell out today. Deep cleanse will sell out today, and it could be two to three months until we get more, maybe longer. Deep cleanse was sold out for three months. It was back in for a few weeks. It is basically down to almost nothing. It should be sold out in the next few hours, if not by this evening. Deep cleanse available at InfoWarsLife.com. Dot com or infowarsstore.com is the umbrella area. Also, we ordered a ton of the Sleep Aid Knockout because I know I have trouble going to sleep sometimes. It's just got nine ingredients known in a healthy way to give you good deep REM sleep. Uh, it's simply amazing. It is available for $19.95. A bottle of melatonin would cost $19.95. This has the regular strong dose of melatonin, valerian root, and a whole bunch of other ingredients that synergistically work together. The good news is we ordered so much of this, it's not selling out yet. We have put in a reorder. Looks like we got enough for the next month or so, but Knockout is really, really popular. Your purchases, again, helped fund this operation. So that's uh, the plug for this hour. In closing, please support our local AM and FM affiliates. Become a sponsor if you're a local listener. Support the local sponsors because they're supporting the show. And tell your friends and family, your neighbors, everybody at work, everybody at the local cafe, everyone you know about this local station, AM, FM, that you're listening to, because it's so precious what we can do with these affiliates across the country. You can have explosive awakenings in towns, and chain reactions can happen with AM and FM radio that just can't happen with the Internet. We do have chain reactions with the Internet as well, uh, but they're not as localized or as powerful. They're more powerful, wide-ranging across borders but not as powerful as the local effect we're able to see to really galvanize and energize this country and this world. So please support those local sponsors today. Uh, if you're a business owner, call up and say, I want to put up a billboard for your station and the Alex Jones Show. And folks are doing this, I want to thank you all over the country. And put up the billboard, and then right next to it say, brought to you by such and such as heating and air, or such and such as Dodge dealership or such and such as restaurant. And you're not going to save the world putting up that billboard. But the, the spirit of resistance will. Everybody doing a little something, many hands make light work. This is the time to not just let the corrupt government take your money and use it against you, funding MSNBC and NPR and other channels. This is the time to have your voice be heard. And if you are listening to us on a local Amber FM station, say we're, we're, a place like Albuquerque. We're on three affiliates in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Two AM, uh, two FM, and one AM, and we're getting a huge response. They had us on the weekend. They moved us to weekdays. Now they're talking about expanding us and, and airing us again at night. That's how popular the show is. We need folks to then take action who are listeners in Albuquerque and put up billboards. This is what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. This is how the people power can crush the globalist. Okay, I'm done. I'm done ranting about that. I want to be clear when I say this. I have never been anti-Catholic. I'm a Christian. I don't judge people. If I do judge people, I don't judge their soul. I simply judge whether I think they're trustworthy and good people or not. And it was Christ who said... You judge a tree by its fruits. And the Catholics I've known throughout my life are hardworking, trustworthy, good, fun people who stand up against abortion, who stand up against globalism, uh, who stand up against tyranny. In fact, I've got to say, probably half the people at the grassroots that I knew in Austin fighting gun control, land grabs, abortion, were Catholics. 
<clears throat> so I turned around. I had a pretty good view of Catholics because of that. So I'm not judging the Catholic people because I judge a tree by its fruits.